I, I, I'm going to get to Bernie, but I mean, what is the point of having an app? What is the point of the Democratic Party? Can somebody tell me? You know, you got Trump who's doing Ku Klux Klan rallies, Nazi Germany rallies, it looks like. And you got the Democratic Party. The House passed a massive $2.7 trillion budget deal that boosts Pentagon and domestic spending in a win for Speaker Nancy Pelosi and President Trump. The deal also suspends the debt, de debt ceiling into 2021. So $2.7 trillion budget deal. What's in it? Top Republicans believe only a fraction of their conference will support the legislation, blah, 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 blah. So let's see what's in it. On the Democratic side, Pelosi is personally lobbying her members to support the agreement, and she predicted it would pass. We're going to have a majority for this bill. Progressives concerned about inflating the Pentagon's budget are expected to rally around Pelosi. Their backing comes after a revolt earlier this year when they rejected spending levels crafted by the House Budget Chairman John Yarmuth. The two-year, $2.7 trillion package, now earning half-hearted endorsements from progressives, includes $5 billion more for the military in fiscal 2020, funding that what House Democrats like Yarmouth wanted to provide earlier this year, in addition to $15 billion less for domestic programs. Under the deal, defense programs would see a 3% hike in fiscal 2020, topping off at $738 billion. That's $738 billion. Domestic programs would increase 4% over, over current levels to a total of $632 billion, which includes $2.5 billion for the 2020 census. Ugh. The, the agreement includes about $77 billion in offsets, which is far less than the $150 billion sought by the Trump administration. So basically, basically, Nancy Pelosi and the progressives on the left are agreeing to a $738 billion defense budget. You know, this is, this is what drives me crazy. You're telling me, you're telling me, okay, we got a 4% increase in domestic spending, which some of it is going to the census, so take that out. I don't even know what Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats uh, are getting Trump to agree to and where to put that domestic spending. But putting that aside, $738 billion, it was $715 billion, which was already immoral and absurd and emblematic of not a country but an empire. And now you move it up to $738 billion? Well, I don't know. Call me radical. And by the way, I do believe in mo modern monetary theory. I'm trying to get an interview uh, with Steve Grumbine. Uh, we just haven't been able to find a time. So putting aside the fact that we have more money, we have all the money in the world to pay for all these things. The government prints money, particularly for war. But you have people like Elizabeth Warren that voted for the $715 billion defense budget last year. Well, how is it if you're Elizabeth Warren or any progressive candidate, are you going to get your domestic programs that you are, you know, I have a plan through if you were spending $738 billion, $738 billion on the military, how are you supposed to find the money if 65%, I think it is, of our budget goes to the military? Kelly Elaine, 800 military bases? Try 1,000. Watch the documentary Standing Army. It's insane how many bases we have around the world. Viva Puerto Rico, yes. And to increase, to increase this insane military budget, what did Nancy Pelosi get? She got a, where is this? 4% increase over current levels to $632 billion. $632 billion for what America needs, $632 billion, versus $738 billion for what we don't need. That is the defense budget. And you wonder why almost half the country cannot afford a $400 emergency. You wonder why homelessness is exploding in this country. You wonder why 
the majority of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. You wonder why African Americans and brown people and indigenous people and poor white people are being driven out of their cities. I don't even call it gentrification anymore. I call it economic terrorism. But we gotta give more money to the military. We gotta buy more jet, jet fighters that we don't need. We gotta buy more planes that we don't need. More Navy ships that we don't need. More, more, more. Maybe America could get away with like, I don't know, 250, 300 billion dollar military budget, which would still be more than majority of the other countries. As Mike Gravel constantly says, who's gonna attack America? Obviously you have terrorist groups and this and that. You think China's really gonna attack America? You think North Korea is gonna really attack America? They'll be wiped off the earth. Bernie Sanders did not vote for that $715 billion defense budget. Elizabeth Warren did. And as I say, it's immoral. Tulsi Gabbard certainly didn't. Oh, by the way, Tulsi Gabbard sued uh, Google today for a lot of money. A lot of money she sued Google today, which I'm hoping to have time to get to that. So to me, you cannot have a progressive, I don't care if it's just, not just for president, I'm talking Congress, I'm talking Senate. You cannot be proposing progressive domestic policies if you vote for a $738 billion defense budget. You cannot be a serious progressive if you vote for a defense budget that is more than domestic spending. And for those of you incrementalists out there, for those of you who say, Jordan, Jordan, well, what do you want him to do? The Republicans are of the Senate and the Republicans have the White House. The Democrats were voting for these insane military budgets that were more than the domestic budget when they had the White House, the House, and the Senate. Totally insane. But this is what you get when you have Nancy Pelosi leading the charge. You get defense spending at insane amounts. You get tepid domestic spending increase, which who knows what that domestic spending is going to go to because the House Democrats are trying to lob through a, 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 another spending bill, which is going to cut the community centers that Bernie Sanders with Senator James Clyburn. Is it? No. Congressman James? No. Senator James Clyburn. Uh, they, they're cutting community centers that Bernie Sanders got into Obamacare. Those who say, oh, Bernie Sanders hasn't done anything in the Senate. Well, he got $10 billion, excuse me, $12 billion in funding for community centers around this country in Obamacare. Not to mention him and uh, de deceased military warmonger John McCain created the best veterans health care package and legislation in modern history. Thank you, Lindsay H. Five dollars in the super chat. Cut military spending and put the money towards health care, education and the environment. Yes. Not to mention the other military budget that we're throwing money at, which is the police in this country, which are continuing to murder black men at a record rate. And nobody's saying a goddamn thing about it. Daniel Pantaleo in New York City is now still free five years after Eric Garner's murder and the federal government announced last week they're not going to charge him. But you want to talk about, I have a plan? Well, how are your plans going to get anywhere, Elizabeth Warren? And I'm not just picking on Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris. Joe Biden, who we know is not cutting the, the military budget, that's for sure. I mean, it's absurd. And you know who suffers? The communities across this country that status quo goes, in, goes out to. Whether it be Flint, whether it's going to be Detroit next week, which Detroit, which we're going to, to cover the next debate, become a member now to support this kind of reporting, status quo.com slash join. These are the communities suffering. There are streets in Detroit and Flint and Milwaukee and... Uh, Chicago and um, Baltimore and St. Louis and Ferguson and San Francisco that literally look no different than Baghdad after bombs are dropped. How do I know? Because I've been there. Joe Biden wants to, you know, oh, we have to recapture the soul of America. What soul would that be? Police terrorism, economic terrorism perpetrated against the people. The military industrial complex run amok? Is that the soul? Because I don't like the soul right now. It's gotten a lot worse under President Trump, no doubt. He has emboldened closet racists to just come out of the closet. And it's scary. 
what's going on at these rallies. We need to defeat Trump. I don't want to say, trust me, you look at those rallies, he needs to be defeated. But what is the point of defeating him if you're just going to insert this continued mealy-mouthed, incremental, neoliberal bull****? Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.